Welcome back friends, today I want to talk about something that feels like it came straight out of the future, only it just happened on European highways. A Mercedes EQS, equipped with a solid state battery, has reportedly driven 749 miles on a single charge and here's the kicker, it still had range left over when it arrived. That's right, a real production car platform, not a concept, not a lab demo, but an EQS electric sedan running, running with a next generation solid state battery that could reshape everything we thought we knew about electric vehicles. Now let me pause here. For years, We've heard automakers and startups promise that solid state electric vehicle batteries would be the dream objective, higher energy density, faster charging, improved safety, and much longer life cycles. Toyota teased it, Volkswagen teased it, even startups like Quantum Scape build um, their reputation on it. But it's always been quote unquote sometime in the future until now. Today things change. Mercedes solved the big issue. Mercedes just showed that the future may, may have arrived earlier than most of us expected regarding solid state batteries. Here's what happened. Mercedes partnered with Factorial Energy, a US company specializing in lithium metal solid state batteries and equipped an EQS electric sedan test car with this advanced battery pack. The result, a trip across three countries, Germany, Denmark and Sweden, covering nearly 750 miles on Europe's A7 and A20 highways. And get this. When the car pulled into Malmo in Sweden, there were still about 85 miles on range left in the battery. That puts the total estimated range at roughly 835 miles with that solid state battery. Let that sink in. 835 miles in a luxury electric vehicle sedan. That's beyond what most gas cars do on a full tank. Now, what makes this even more compelling is that Mercedes didn't stuff a giant new battery into the car. According to the company, this solid state EQS battery pack had about 25% more usable energy than the existing lithium ion battery pack put without any significant increase in weight or volume of the vehicle. Same size, same weight, just more efficiency. They even engineered pneumatic uh, actuators into the pack to help control cell expansion and extend battery life. That's a pretty big deal because one of the big questions around electric vehicles has always been, do we just keep making batteries bigger or heavier uh, and heavier or do we find a smarter way? If solid state battery gives you 25% more capacity in the same footprint, suddenly you can have long range electric cars without making them heavier than a pickup truck. And you know what, me, what it means to have a heavier car on an electric vehicle battery. And speaking of smarter ways, Mercedes also used its electric intelligence route planning system for this test drive. That system calculates real-world variables like traffic, terrain, outside temperature, and even your heating and cooling usage. So this wasn't some unrealistic hypermiling experiment. This was a real-world electric vehicle range test run on actual highways with conditions you and I would encounter on a long trip. Friends, this is a big deal. Share this news with your friends. To put things in perspective, the Mercedes Vision EQXX, remember that sleek concept that broken headlines a couple of years ago, managed 747 miles on a charge. But that was a specialized efficiency demonstration and engineering prototype. This EQS with solid state, that's a car you could walk into showroom and recognize right now. And it just went farther than the EQXX. Now let's zoom out for a second. Why does this matter so much? So much. First, it's about electric vehicle adoption. A lot of people are still hesitant about going electric because they worry about charging infrastructure and range anxiety. But if you live in Scandinavia or even in the United States, you should stop worrying about charging infrastructure. Range anxiety is a different issue, but you see Mercedes just solved it. But if your EV could drive 700 to 850 miles on a single charge, 
Does range anxiety even exist anymore? That's more than many people drive in two weeks. Second, it's about competition. Mercedes isn't alone in chasing solid-state batteries. Toyota, Volkswagen, Nissan, BMW, Honda, BYD, and CATL are all working on similar breakthroughs, on similar projects regarding solid-state batteries. But right now, it looks like Mercedes is first to publicly validate this kind of real-world result in a production car platform. That gives them a uh, kind of... Uh, a lot of right and leverage that might just shift the conversation about electric cars. Third, let's not forget the performance angle. This solid state development was done in collaboration with Mercedes AMG high performance powertrains. The same folks who built Formula One engines. I mean, you don't get that team involved unless you're very serious about transferring technology from the truck to the road. So is this breakthrough a moment, like a breakthrough moment? Well, Mercedes says serious production of electric vehicles with solid-state batteries is expected by the end of the decade. That's like in two, three years. I mean, we're not talking about 2029, maybe 2027. That means we're not buying them tomorrow, but we're not waiting on the 2040 either. We could realistically see EQS sedans, EQS SUVs, maybe even performance AMGs running on this technology with five to six years, running them with solid state batteries. Think about what, the, uh, what that does to the market. Tesla, for example, has leaned on its efficiency and supercharger network as key advantages. But if Mercedes brings to market a 750 mile electric vehicle with solid state batteries, suddenly the conversation shifts. It's no longer about who has the most chargers. It's about who has the best battery. So this is kind of even a threat to Tesla, uh, to Tesla's advantage. And Tesla isn't the only one that could feel the pressure. Rivian, Lucid, Honda, Kia, all of them will have to respond if Mercedes delivers vehicle with solid state batteries. Of course, we have to temper the excitement with some reality. Solid state batteries are still expensive to manufacture and scaling them up to mass production has proven extremely difficult. Many promising startups have hit roadblocks in this exact phase. Mercedes and Factorial still have to prove they can build these packs reliably and affordably at the volumes needed for thousands or hundreds of thousands of vehicles. But here's the suspenseful part. This isn't vaporway anymore. The car exists. It drove the miles. And it's proof that the technology works outside of a lab. For anyone who has been waiting for a true leap forward in electric vehicle technology, this is the strongest sign yet that it's coming. So I'll end with two questions, friends. Would a 750 mile range Mercedes EQS, EQS with a solid state battery finally convince you that electric vehicles are ready to replace gas cars for good? I think it's very interesting to know your opinion. Or do you think cost and charging times will still be the real deciding factors? Please drop your thoughts in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your perspective on uh, whether this breakthrough changes the game for you personally or if it still feels like hype until we see it in showrooms. I mean, we have seen lots of things in showrooms, but this car actually exists and it drove the miles and Mercedes delivered on it. It's time to start thinking about how to mass produce and I'm sure uh, Mercedes would like to capitalize on this advantage it has over Tesla and other electric vehicle producers and I'm sure other companies like Tesla and others are also thinking about this how they're going to respond so the next couple of years are going to be really interesting regarding electric vehicle marketplace and technology please visit us at torquenews.com our website for daily automotive news and God bless you, and I look forward to reading your conversations, your comments, and uh, responding to them. Have a great day. We'll see you soon in our next report.